Welcome back, YouTubers, to my channel of basically an everyday encounter, an everyday life of an ASB, or shall we say, pretty much ASB answers all. As you fully are aware, that's who I am. Um, I'm going to be jazzing it up a bit and going back to my channel of the Beauty from Ashes, which I'm going to talk about a topic that's pretty much has been on my heart now and again to share with you all that might bring encouragement hopefully to you as well as a bit of glimmer of hope sort of thing as well as hopefully bringing out the positives on you guys pretty much in this Beauty From Ashes series which is basically like what I've been thinking on basically elevating our lives taking action of what is rightfully ours you know basically on how we go about our lives regardless like if we're down and out with jobs and stuff that we just keep on moving forward and keep you know pressing on sending CVs and whatever else that we need to do to keep on going to that destination even though th there will be bound to be hurt, heartbreaks heartaches and everything else in there but that's just part of our life journey as we know so and all further ado I better start this on Speaking rotation in our life is the first step of action however for creating a full life of hope abundance and joy in our lives as we know but action makes that flirtation real and grow more and more every day into something that we never have dreamed of or hoped for we need to take into something that we dreamed of you know and take that action we speak of what we're after, running after be it if it's a form of career be it if we want to be rich and famous be it whatever that reason may be but we need to be aware that you know it's based on our actions as well as speaking these rotations to bring it up to process um we need to remember though however if we just speak into these you know affirmations of what we want in our lives be it you know we want money be it whatever it is we need to remember that if we don't put the action into place obviously that dream vision or hope or whatever we had planted in ourselves for this information basically we'll end up rotting and dying spiritually and everything else regardless of our attitude and thinking sort of thing even if we do decide just to cancel out our you know everyday thoughts and everything but as i've read in matthew 7 7 pretty much many people tend to just not read the whole scripture of this about you know when it comes down to ask and you shall receive pretty much knock and the door will open seek and you will find many of these people tend to just skip these memory verses or just take out some parts of the memory verses of certain memory verses here say example of the one i've just quoted of matthew 7 7 and just tend to use it for their glory and whatever else that may be but that doesn't mean to say though however you know that it will come into rotation but sometimes we need the rest of the verses to gain clarity and understanding of what it's all about basically and many people tend to lack understanding and clarity and vision of side of what's you know there to come of what this verse is all about I am not going to try and give you a Bible lesson. I'm not going to try and give you the days and in of it. As I said, I'm just hoping to give up words of encouragement here and hopefully some of this message is coming clear to you. Um, I want to make this message as well pretty much bringing attention to me. You see, in Matthew 7, 7, the scripture obviously doesn't mean to ask as you speak and receive as it reads, seek and you will find. But as I said, seek... And basically knocking basically is the two form of action words that we need to take hold of and actually really do and perceive you really you know pers persevere in life sort of thing to those goals that we had in our mind be it like you claiming and I really want to be rich or I want to be famous but sometimes as I said it's all based on our actions no matter what it is um we need to when this means that we shouldn't be however if we are speaking informations of these things as i said this is based on our actions we need to not stop dwelling on it and just keep acting on it you know try not to give up even though yes we know that the devil's there to just distract us of everyday things that we want in our lives no matter what it is many many times that the devil comes into our lives to disrupt us of our goals and stuff be it if someone in the amongst our group hit it in the you know sheep's clothing and amongst the wolves you know as the saying goes but then again we need to realize though however you know with this we need to remember that everything comes our way but we need to 
or sitting in the corner to speak our abundance information in our lives we need to get up and go get it as well as I said basically really seek it out and push forward you know we should be able to believe in ourselves no matter what situation we're in that if it's out not our time you feel for succeeding in life be it you know being rich and famous be it you want a decent paid job with a high packet pay packet but in all fairness and though sometimes you know there will be some disappointments along the way as I said but no matter what we're looking for big or small however we need to just be be aware that in our lives if we've lost our keys, for example, in the middle of the night, pretty much scrambling around, seeing where they are, you know, looking high and low for our keys and whatnot, we need to do this also in our lives. And pretty much also another example here, I pretty much misplace certain things. You say, like, I I have certain organizations set up for myself sometimes in my wardrobe that certain clothes that I want to wear probably for the day even though sometimes now I'm starting to just think oh just go in a rush and just go with it and hopefully dress up I'm not here to dress to impress either or anything like that but anyway um no matter where we're in life and however we need to remember that what we ask for in information is that yet we need to walk in faith and believe in what we're doing when we're going to receive it pretty much that it will be a miracle blessing and a breakthrough from whatever we are going on in through our lives however we also need to remember when we seek out the doors you know of the very opportunity some doors might close some doors may open but we also need to step up in faith and also pretty much do the ring around of you know the action ringing people cold calling maybe visiting some businesses out there and hopefully maybe with some of the businesses when we hand over our cvs they basically they are grateful forever grateful meeting us in person and maybe that chance will arise that you know with that but it's how we say it and what we go about it when we go into those businesses also that will make that impression hopefully maybe later on in the track of he say we were seeking out a job sort of thing and that hopefully that will be a real blessing for us for some of us who are needing this also we need to be in mind sometimes the action we may need to walk or drive or whatever form of transportation let the spirit lead us to wherever we need to be at that given moment of time no matter what that time of day it is even though some people think oh, yeah night time i don't want to do this anymore be it your blessings are there your miracles are being breakthrough yes it may be scary or nerve-wracking at first but once we get give up the car have that courage and hope in ourselves of doing what we want to do then something as i said will get good to it we need to remember though however we, we are in control of our lives we are in control of our thoughts actions and speaking patterns no matter what we do in our lives however we shouldn't have to basically get down and out and pretty much think about it but we also need to be aware that sometimes as I said in one of my videos over that we need to be in the right state of mind as well as basically you know hoping to be in the right frame of people that will help us most people may speak existence to their lives yet after that they tend to not have the whole desire to act upon whatever it is that they were speaking on and then as I said that existence dies out we need to act on the existence Acting on these actions may not guarantee you for what you want, desire or hope for, but in the long run, it will be well worth it, pretty much, even if it may lead to heartache, as I said, heartbreak and all that. But that's part of our journey in life when we keep going forward, sort of thing. You know, the, our life doesn't stop at the point where we have disappointments and heartaches, thinking that, oh, we should just give up there and then, you know. We just got to keep plodding on and hopefully within that time, you know, as I said so many times before, that this will be our day to receive it. Um, be patient and obedient, however, when it comes down to, you know, if we were meditating for a while, you know, wanting a job, wanting a breakthrough from our health or, you know, if someone's having relationship problems or whatever, be obedient and that you never know. The breakthrough and miracle, however, is coming. You just need to be, you know, willing to think. But the questions you need to probably ask yourselves is this sort of thing to end sum it up is what are you calling for? What actions do you need to take? Sort of thing. With these two questions, bring your words into reality and actually declare it sort of thing that you will become a successor. You'll be a victor. You'll be everything in your power because obviously as it says that it all starts with us by selling our choices. So thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe below pretty much. 
give me the heads up of whatever else you may want to see on my channels. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.